If you've got a lot on your plate, it's time to put a tomato on the plate using the Pomodoro technique. The Pomodoro technique is where you combine bursts of work with bursts of rest. The idea is that classically you work for 25 minutes without distractions and then you take a five minute break and you don't check TikTok during that break. It was originally invented by a student, Francesco Cirillo, in the 1980s. More than 2 million people have become advocates since then because it really makes a big difference in reducing procrastination. The idea is that during the 25 minutes, you really work hard. You are not checking Facebook every 10 minutes or checking your emails. You find what you need to do and you focus on it and you do nothing else which means that you get a lot more done because we, we know that multitasking, task switching is not great. The less multitasking we do, the more productive we'll be. And also, the more regular breaks we take, the better rested our brain and body will be, which means that we can attack that next work block with a ferocious sense of productivity and get great work done. The way that it was originally done was using a kitchen timer. That's where the name comes from. Pomodoro means tomato in Italian. And the author had a tomato timer that he would turn on for 25 minutes. He'd work and then he'd have a little piece of paper where he would record the number of Pomodoro blocks that he had done. There are some apps that can help as well. Focus Bear has the added benefit that when you turn on Pomodoro mode, you don't just get the timer, but you also get distraction blocking, which can be helpful. You basically choose the duration of your focus because it doesn't have to be 25 minutes. I like to use 50 minutes personally with a 10 minute break. And then after you've activated it, if you happen to go on it to a distracting website, it will block it for you to help you to adhere to your goal for the Pomodoro block. There's an open question about the ideal length. It could be as short as 25 minutes or even shorter if you're just beginning. I like to have it a bit longer. I find 50 minutes is a sweet spot for me. Some people like to do as long as 90 minutes, which is essentially the maximum limit of human attention. After that, you basically start to have diminishing returns where your brain can't really stay focused for much longer than that. So start small initially and build up, I'd recommend. Some other tips are in the breaks, you don't really want to be reading the news or checking email or Facebook or TikTok. Instead, you want to be doing things that are away from your devices that are going to allow you to refresh your brain and potentially come up with breakthrough insights as you activate your diffuse mode network, which only gets activated when you are not using your brain to read or to think actively. All the best with your tomato journey. Hope you find the Pomodoro technique boosts your productivity.